Hi everyone. So today we kind of have a cool project here. We're enclosing this screen tent with this sun tough plastic. So this basically just used to have a screen on it and it kind of just got wore out and it wasn't very nice. So we decided a hard plastic would be better. So the front will have tinted so you can't really see inside from the street. And this is the southern facing way, so it'll keep a lot of the uh, UV rays out of here so it won't get so hot. And then the other sides will just be clear. So first thing I'm gonna do is take some measurements and get this thing square because it's not really square right now. And then we'll make a frame and attach the plastic to that frame. So. I'll get some measurements here and we'll get started. So I'll go three inches less because that's uh, two two by fours put together is three inches. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of heat in the comments for my ultra safety shoes here. My Crocs that are probably four years old. Actually better cut three of these because I think we'll need one in the center just to stabilize everything. I could try it without just to see what happens but it wouldn't hurt to have some extra stability. Okay, now I think I'm gonna screw these together rather than nail them, so I'll get all that stuff prepared. Okay, so I'll just kinda lay this stuff out here, I guess. Put the live edges to the inside, probably, just so they don't interfere too much with putting the uh, panels on. So this frame will just slip into that opening in the shelter there. This one's got live edges on both sides, of course. Working with this brand new lumber is not like working with the old fur on the saloon.
stuff's just twisted. Okay, now I guess I'll just try and fit this right away. I'd like to be able to get away with not putting a centerpiece in, but I think the panels will just be too floppy. We'll just see how this fits. These posts are gonna have to be squared up a lot. So I'll just flush that up with the outside. <clears throat> And then I've got some self-tappers um, to put that in. Oh, they're right here. What are these? These are, these are the ones I bought. My dad bought the other ones. I don't know. I generally like the uh, hex head drive. Size are these five sixteenths? Clean all the shingle granules out of there. That's a little tip for cleaning out a nut driver. Just spin it like that. Okay, let's try this out here. I'm not really a huge fan of self-tapping screws, but you need them sometimes. That actually went in fairly easily. This metal's pretty thin. Okay, now these, I think they're nailed down. Oh, nice, this is all gonna be in the way. Okay, I gotta figure something out here. All right, so we got a measurement of 77, and I put that middle piece in. So, I'll just take, one of these over here. Now it's kind of unfortunate you have to waste so much. You can't just order these sheets like you can with steel at whatever length you want. You have to just buy an eight foot sheet. I could have ordered 16s, but not all the ones I ordered showed up, so I just had to go to Home Depot, and I can't really haul a 16-foot sheet in my truck, so... Feels weird cutting this. I've never cut it before. I'm only used to cutting steel.
Now I'll have to uh, kind of get this profile of the corner here. Oh, I can't push it. Just take measurements, I guess. Okay, so from the bottom. Seventy-four. I guess I should have known that. Oh, this wind. Seventy-four. And then three and three quarters over to a forty-five, and then from forty-five we'll go. Four and three eighths. Can I? Oh, you need that? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> go up half inch. So that'll be enough to get you across to the other side? Yeah. Okay, I'll cut that out. So they're 26 inches, so if we get like every two feet, are we going to up the same on the other side? The four sheets? What do you mean the same? Or five sheets? Well, <clears throat> what I'm saying is, is we can come in versus going too far out, right? Oh, because they're... Yeah, but how far... It's exactly 10 feet, isn't it? Or, oh, it's 116 and a half, so we'll have enough. We'll have lots? Yeah. Okay. I trust you. I hate you get the other end of the road. Okay, now if you put a quarter inch driver on there and grab me some screws, those black ones, 
Maybe just set the container up here. I don't really have room for them. Oh. Um. Where's the quarter inch? Yeah. Might Is it probably on the ground? Nope. <laughs> I guess I could just use this, but that'll scratch the paint pretty bad. It's kind of square. Oh yeah, that's gonna that look pretty nice actually. And I guess if you put a couple, a couple free in there, you might not even have to do anything. How often should we? I would go get just. be able to get through there without a oh I see okay so I've got self tapping yeah well and I don't know maybe you got to be really maybe it's overthinking that like that's never gonna go anywhere so. yeah, yeah maybe could even break a metal corner or something to honestly I don't think you'd even have to like it it's never gonna capture anything yeah that's it's nice how it tucks up Oh, yeah. hopefully in there. Yeah, I'll cut the rest of them. Yeah, I can probably just batch cut at 77. Alright, now we're on to the clear stuff. I got that. I'm just talking to the camera. I got that other wall put up there, so... I think this stuff will be a little easier to work with, because you can kind of see better what's behind you. and see your marks better and everything. Okay, and then I'll just use my old notch. Like a drill bit? No, I don't think so. Which I can't remember how this went here. Okay, so this is the piece I need. There we go. Gonna go ahead and cut something out wrong here. Watch me just ruin a sheet. Okay, now I'm 
my left hand snips again. have to change the bit out. this completely torqued like this. certainly isn't ideal to work with. Put one there, I guess. Oh my god. batch cut and do the rest.
All right, well, my camera, my phone, and GoPro all just ended up dying on me, so I wasn't really able to film the rest. But this is the finished product here. Um, nice little door framed in with the spring hinges. And then my dad put that little catch on there just so the wind doesn't take but Overall, pretty nice. Um, no wind in here, obviously. Um, unlike what we were experiencing before with the screen. So, yeah, tinted over here. So, I mean, it's not really sunny today, but it's fairly cool in here. Um, but yeah, it should be a nice place to spend some rainy days or some evenings or whatever. Um, I might put some more cross pieces here just so it doesn't wobble so much. But the purpose for leaving that open was so it was obvious which was the door, which I think is obvious that it's the door, but you know, some people who had a little a little too much to drink might not see that as obvious. So anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. You may have noticed I got some new merch. I did get uh, an order for myself here. So be sure to check out the merch store uh, if you haven't already. Link will be in the description. Uh, that just helps support me and everything like that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little quick project. A uh, sneak peek of the saloon build going on back there. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying that series as well. And yeah, thanks for watching and stay healthy.